I'm not gonna lie, to be honest, it's giving Pat Wickering. Pat Wickering is my dad. I see the way we're going, caught in another. I like literally dressed like a man right now. I have like basketball shorts on. Like Adam Sandler, who? Pat Wickering, who? You know what I'm saying? Just got done at CrossFit. I made a cute little protein shake, coffee, van vanilla coffee. Slay. And take a shower and get ready. I have to be at the coffee shop in less than an hour. Because they have 450 cookies to make. Because they're doing like sugar cookies for Christmas for people in the community. And 40 dozen people. No. 40 dozen worth of cookies. So 40 people wanted a dozen cookies. That's like insane to me. So I'm going to go take care of like making drinks and stuff while her and her husband take care of the cookies. Let's get ready. Hey y'all. So. Basically, it's kind of a mess in here. I really don't want to stand. I just, I simply can't do it. Let's go down here. But, you guys get to like, vulnerably, as if you guys haven't seen every single thing about my life this month, but you guys get to vulnerably be sideways and see how messy my room is right now. I think I've only taken like one clip today and it was while I looked like my father earlier <laughs> at my workout and what I wore like with my basketball shorts. I just, I have, this day has just been filled with so much stuff and just did not film any of it and now it's like 12 o'clock and way past my bedtime I need to take my makeup off and literally throw myself into bed and fall asleep like I'm so tired but I wanted to come on get a little bit of a clip kind of talk with you guys so um I know that I like have this community here of all you amazing people and I just actually joined a TikTok agency that has a bunch of different Christian like influencers and stuff and I go like live on TikTok. Tonight was my first night trying it out. I have done like Instagram lives like a lot and like I've done Facebook lives and stuff like that but I've never done TikTok live. This is so much different but I've been watching like training videos so tonight I well, I joined it like yesterday or the day before I think and then tonight I was watching my training videos I went and went to a sauna in town and like was watching videos until my phone got too hot to function and then I got out of the sauna and I just like kept learning about TikTok live and like how to create a community on there and what battling is like just all of these things and it's just so much information for my brain but it's also so fun like there's people that I'm connected with that, like, I've seen them in concert. Like, I went and saw Maverick City Music, and these people are, like, texting me now. And it's just, like, something that's just, like, crazy. How everybody knows everybody, or, like, there's a connection everywhere, and, like, how God can place people in your lives, and how they can be so pivotal, and you just don't even know it. Like, you don't know what's going to happen, and then all of a sudden, all these things are happening, and it's just like, that's God. And I'm just, I'm really excited to kind of see, like, what this does and where this takes me. And I kind of, like, wanted to tell you guys about it, because I would love for you guys to, like, go over and follow me on TikTok. It's always in the description in my videos, but, like, following, and then you can be part of that community as well, and just all, everything. I don't know. My brain's not working very well, because it's way past my bedtime. But I wanted to share that, that you, I'm going to start going live like at 7 or 8 p.m. every single night. I haven't really decided which time since I've only ever gone live once and it was tonight. But that's going to be something that is going to be like an everyday thing. And it's really fun. Like I had so much fun doing it. I did it for like an hour. Like and I, I can't co-host with anybody yet because I haven't done enough nights on my own or whatever like you have to do like three days in a row on your own or something and then you can like be live with somebody and like so I was just doing it by myself and like I was able to connect with all of these people that I don't know and talk to people and like again start to create a community and I feel like I already have a community here too that would maybe want to be a part of that so I wanted to talk to you guys about that and then what else happened tonight and then I went and hung out with my friend Lila and we went to Target for a bit um and then we went for a drive, got some Culver's, and then I came home. My room is just a mess. There's stuff all over the place. I was too tired to do anything. 
and this video is not going to be very long so I just simply didn't film today. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting to the point of Vlogmas where I'm just like really burnt out. Filming myself every single day. I've taken one day off from filming this entire month and I filmed for a couple days of November at the end as well. So it's like super fun, but like, I just, I'm tired. Oh, and I'm really ready for Christmas. I'm so ready for Christmas, like, to just spend time with my family and to, like, serve on the worship team at church and just all of these things. It's just, God is just so good, and, yeah, God is so good. That's kind of all I've got today. It's a short one, but it still has a nice message. God loves you. God loves me. God loves you no matter what your past says, no matter what Satan tells you, all of these things. But I am going to go to bed. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Leave your prayer request below. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace. I see the